Alright, four Krabby Patties coming up. Hey, slow! We asked you something. Do you have a minute? Sure, Mr. Krabs, what's up? We need to find a way to make more money, since you're me only employee. Do you have any money to make more money? Have you ever thought of bubble lessons? Uh, can you explain it to me, please? What do you mean, bubble lessons? We can teach people in Bikini Bottom how to blow a bubble the better way. Doesn't that sound like a plan, Mr. Krabs? You know, I like that idea. How much should it cost? How about $1,000? What? $1,000? Why that price? We need to make more money, remember. Yeah, but I didn't mean make the price so expensive. Can you lower the price, please? Okay, what about $25? That is a better price. Not too low. Not too high. It's just right. Thanks. Slow. You're welcome, Mr. Krabs. Do you want me to make a stand for bubble lessons? Don't bother building it. Slow. I already have a stand made outside. We just didn't notice it yet. Oh, I would love to see it. All right. Follow me, please. Oh, my Krabby Patties. That looks amazing. Hey, our first customer for bubble lessons. Hey, guys. What are you guys doing? Hi, Lucy. We're teaching bubble lessons. Would you like either one of us to teach you how to blow a bubble better? No. I know how to blow a bubble. I don't need either of you guys to teach me how to blow a bubble better. Are you kidding me? Be grateful and let us blow a bubble better for you, Lucy. Alright, fine. Here's my $50. Now, show me how to blow a bubble better. First go like this, spin around, stop, double take three times, one, two, three, then pelvic thrust. Stop on your right foot, don't forget it. Now, bring it around town, bring it around town. Then you do this, then this, then this, and this, and this, and that, and then. Okay. That was fun. Thank you, guys. Well well, that was easier than I expected. Right, Slow? Yep. Uh-oh. We got Shake and his friends. Hello, Chloe and Mr. Krabs. Can you blow a bubble of a fist, please? Oh, we'll make a bubble fist, all right. To have it beat you guys up to teach you guys a lesson for bullying me 24-7. Chloe, calm down, please. When we say we want a bubble fist, I don't think this is what we had in mind. I don't care, it's payback time. Hey! Not another wussy. Put me down now. As you wish, Amy. Oh, you done with your payback. Barnacles, no, I'm just getting started. Hey! This isn't funny. Put us down right now. This is unacceptable. Chloe, can you please stop hitting us? This is starting to hurt us. I will not stop hurting you guys. You guys won't stop hurting Chlo. It's her turn to return the fire to hurt you guys. Chlo, give him more please. With pleasure, Mr. Krabs. Hey, Shake and friends, have some more beatings. Chloe, are you really hurting us just because we are too? Yes, I wouldn't be hurting you guys for any other reason. Well, please stop hurting us. It's so painful. No hacking way. I want you all out of our sight when I'm done dealing with you. Oh no, please don't hurt us anymore. Why shouldn't I hurt you guys anymore? You're just gonna keep hurting me. Hey, the wits! Have some more beating, memes! Oh no, I think yeah, that's got to stop. Hey, that one really super duper hurts, Dad. You don't need to hit us so hard, it hurts. And you don't need to bully me and hurt me 24-7, you dorks. Okay, name calling is very unnecessary. You know what else is unnecessary? You're hurting me only employee 24-7. I don't not appreciate it. And if you like to kill me so much, well, I have a better idea. Ah, uh, watch out, everyone. Yeah, that fist has a gun. Run for your lives ASAP. And good riddance. Next time, think before you bully or hurt me. Okay, it's official. They are now gone. I don't see them anymore. Good thing we taught those minis a lesson. You know, I should have just tied you in that shake or wrench.
Hey, Mr. Krabs, behind you, more customers. Hello, you and Mr. Krabs, nice bubble stand. Thank you, meter. But it's actually bubble lessons. Would you like us to teach you how to blow a bubble better? That will be $50. We do not need to know how to blow a bubble better. We already know how to blow a bubble. Also, we girls don't have money. If you two won't have money, then why are you here? We were wondering if you could blow some bubble jellyfishes so that we can have fun with them. Can you do it for, for free? For free! Sorry, but there's a price for bubble lessons for a darn reason. We needed to make more money. If you guys don't have money, you can get jobs. We don't have one yet. We were waiting to get high talk. Congratulations. You will get one free lesson for finding a job. Mr. Krabs, let me ask you something. Don't you need money for it? Yes. But giving them free stuff is a one-time thing, though. They need money. You know we can you hear you? All right, McQueen and Mater, we're gonna give you on free lesson. After this, please pay up. And also, let us know when you got hired. Sounds like a plain truth. All right, let's get down to business. Bubble Jellyfish is coming up. Oh my gosh! Amazing skulls! Why do this to people? Of course not. These jellyfishes are made out of bubbles. The real ones sting people, though. Do these bubble jellyfishes pop? No. These are in pop bubble bubbles. Of course these pop! And they just popped it. Yeah, you know more place. You know what? You're here. I can do as much as you want. I love these bubble jellyfishes. Slow! Best of all, they are harmless. Who knew it would be good at blowing bubbles for people who beckon about them? I was good at blowing bubbles after doing techniques. When I first done techniques, I was five years old. Interesting. I used the technique as well when I was your age. I was good at blowing bubbles since then, so... Lucky you. Unfortunately for me and McQueen, we never blow bubbles to tire lack of hands were cars. Don't worry, we see your tires as hands. Simple. And I just popped again. Don't worry, Mater and McQueen. Let me blow you another one. There you go. You probably be some. For now at least, though. Can we eat those bubble jellyfishes? What? Absolutely not. Under no circumstances are bubbles edible. Why the camp would you ask such silly questions like that? Are you crazy or something? No, but we're just curious. Okay, that makes sense. Because I shouldn't jump to conclusions. Oh. Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. You will not get yelled at. You're the boss of Flo, Master Shake. Annoying. That's true, but there is a correction, though. I'm the boss of Cho since Shake and Orange were fired for lying to me about a restraining order. Don't worry, guys. We'll work on getting more employees soon. Okay. Cool. Not a problem. Bubble Jellyfish bobbed again. Fortunately for you two, I can do more. But let me give you two a warning. This is the last one. We'll be doing it for you two. After this, no more. Understand? We understand. Understand. All right, bubble jellyfishes. When you pop, this is gonna be a good. Did you guys have fun, by the way? You know, we did have a lot of fun. It's good to hear. Have a good day, you two. Thank you. Mr. Krabs and True. Well, that was so much fun. Oh my gosh, we have got more customers. Hello, Chloe. Why are you guys here? We were wondering if you could blow a bubble of something. Absolutely not. You guys are rude to Chloe. Why do you guys hate Chloe? Hey, that was not nice. The reason why we hate Chloe is because she did a penny rape. Good thing we banned her from our club permanently. You guys have no right to hate me for that. I agree with Chloe. That is a silly reason to hate someone. You should be ashamed of yourselves. So, are you or Chloe gonna blow a bubble for us or not? No. Come on, Mr. Krabs. Can you give them a chance? If I let them into bubble lessons, they're gonna think you to be poor and you let you for no reason. I will not hit that. Not on me, watch! Guys, let us enter bubble lessons for goodness sakes. What's taking you so long? Absolutely not! You guys are very rude to Chloe because of that silly panty raid! And no, I am not firing her for that! That panty raid is a silly thing to hate someone! You guys are jerks! Uh, Mr. Krabs, yelling at them was unnecessary, don't you think? You know, Chloe, yelling may be unnecessary, but they deserve it for hating you because of that panty raid. 
I will not have people rude. Wait a minute. How come Teardrop doesn't talk like you, Duladin, and Leafy? Oh, she didn't have a voice to begin with. But we are all in the Newbie Alliance. Really? If you guys are in the Newbie Alliance, then where is Flower? We didn't add her in our club. She was banned for being rude and was fortunately for you. You're not the first person to be banned from our club permanently. Honestly, being rude is a good reason to be banned from a club, but not a panty read. But anyway, your problem with hating Cho for a silly panty read is with me. Why can't you eat Shake and his friends instead? That panty raid was there, ready? Because all we heard was that Poe did a panty raid. Nothing else. I have a feeling that it's about time that I give a restraining order to someone like what happened to me one time. I don't think a restraining order is necessary. They will get a restraining order and get close to you, he will. That same thing happened to Shake and Orange. Which is the reason why they were fired? You know, that's Garrett. It's for you guys. Either you get out of here, or I'm gonna call the cops on you guys to get you arrested for a long time. Do you when they send me? Okay. Fine. We will leave. Goodbye. Now, that may be honesty, but they wouldn't leave. Uh-oh, the cops are coming. What the barnacles are you guys doing? Me and Mr. Krabs are having bubble lessons. Wait a second, why is Tumbleweed with you? Don't you dare question a police officer. I'm his partner. And it is illegal for a panty rape person to get a job. You are not my partner. You just randomly came in the car with me. And it is not illegal for someone who did a panty raid to get a job. But it is illegal to operate a stand without a license. What the job is this stand, by the way? It's called bubble lessons. One is to help you blow a bubble better. No, I'm here to shut your stand down. You don't have a license to this bubble stand. You need a license to have those. What? You don't need a license to understand. This has to be a mistake. Please tell me it's a mistake. Sorry, Mr. Krabs. Unfortunately for you, no mistake. I agree with Tumbleweed. For once, there is no mistake. You need a license to operate a stand. You need to get a license. Hold on, officers. How can we get a license? I'll tell you. You can quit your job, kill yourself, and burn in head. What? No. Not even close. Why did the chief hire you in the first place? As for an answer to that question, you will have to figure it out on that one on your own. I didn't know we need a license to have a bubble stand, sirs. Uh, sirs, if we can't have this bubble stand without a license, how can we make more money? That's, That's not, not our problem. problem. Let me go, us. We have to figure that one out on our own. You know, Mr. Krabs, I have a feeling that this is all my fault. What makes you think that slow? This bubble stand was my idea and I didn't know we need a license for this. Oh, my money. Slow. This isn't your fault. I didn't know we need a license for this stand either. You know, you two should have thought of getting a license before opening the stupid bubble stand. This is unacceptable and illegal. Don't you two have brains? We actually do have brains, but my brain is yellow. See what I mean? What? What the heck kind of a human are you? Are you an alien or something? Because actual humans don't have yellow brains. Your brain should be the same color as everyone. What the heck is wrong with you? I don't like your attitude against me and my brain. I was born with a yellow brain. You should be grateful for that. It is illegal to have different colored organs. You are under arrest for having different colored organs. No it isn't. Krabs and Chloe, do not listen to Tumbleweed, ever. What are you gonna do to Tumbleweed? Fire him? You are not the chief. True, but the chief has a bad behavior device on Tumbleweed. If he finds out that he does something terrible, he will be fired. Anyway, guys, time to say goodbye to your bubble stand, because it's being shut down. Well, time to go back to our normal crusty crap time! Here you go, Kelly and Spore Shroom, two Krabby Patties, enjoy! Man, I cannot believe this! Today was the craziest day! We had a bubble license before Officer Brooklyn! I shut it down due to us not having a license! I wonder what's happening to Tumbleweed though! Tumbleweed, what you did today was awful! I should have never hired you in the first place! You know what? You would fight! Get the heck out! Let's just hope he got fired! He doesn't even deserve to be a police officer if he's gonna treat me like crud. I thought me and Tumbleweed are friends. I'm starting to think he's gonna be a bully to you. You did do panty rain and all. But he shouldn't talk to you or me like that. Listen, Chloe, I'm gonna destroy you one day. One day, very, very soon. Hang on, slow. 
I'll be right back. I've got business to take care of. Hey, sir, get out of the crusty crab area. You were a terrible friend of Chlo. Get out now. Chloe was my friend until she did a panty Fine, I'm leaving. And good riddance, you lay now's weirdo. Who was that? Oh, that was Tumbleweed. I told him to get out of here because he's a terrible friend of you. What do you mean? Anyway, is there a way for me and Tumbleweed to be friends again? Sorry, but I don't think so. I mean, you can try though, but I doubt it will work. Okay, and when I do, wish me luck, please. You know, slow. I like your ready. Sounds like a gosh darn plan! Ooh, not good. Chloe is falling behind. Chloe, get down here right now, young lady. What is it, Mom and Dad? I have been looking at all your classes and I have not seen one thing submitted. We are very disappointed in you. I can explain. Eric Alberg told us he was going on vacation, but he never told us about online class. That is the most awful excuse I've ever heard of, but it does make sense. We are reminding you that now. Go to all your online work on Canvas. Until we see that all your online classes are done, you are grounded. Mom and Dad, please, you can't do this to me. This is messed up. I don't care. If all your online classes aren't done by midnight tonight, we're kicking you out of the house. Get to work now. All right, Chloe, you better get this online class done so that you don't get kicked out. Okay, the first class I was behind is math. Time for me to start it. I got my pencil and paper. Time to go to work to avoid getting kicked out. Okay, first question. What is 9 plus 10 equals? Huh? So easy. It's obviously 19. One down. Nine to go. Here's the next question. What's 50 plus 50 equals? They are seriously asking such silly questions. It's 100. Perfect. Another question correct. Eight math problems later. Hey, what happened to my head? Why is it big? Oh well, at least I'm working. Alright, next subject I need to catch up is history. Here's the first question. When was the Battle of Gettysburg fought during the Civil War? I believe the answer is July 1st through July 3rd, 1863. Alright, got one history question right with 19 to go. Next question, where was Martin Luther King Jr. born? Is it Atlanta, Georgia? Oh my gosh, my brain is starting to hurt, but I have to complete all my work by midnight, or I'm getting kicked out of the house. Anyway, here's the next question from history. Which year was George H.W. Bush elected president? I'm pretty sure it was 1988. Seventeen history questions later. Alright. Now I just have English and science. Looks like they're together this time. Here's the English question. What type of sentence is it's time for bed? That sentence is a declarative sentence, because it ends with a period. Ugh, my brain is gonna explode, but it has to be finished. Here's a science question. What does DNA stand for? It stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Now, I just need. Chloe, how are you? Oh, my goodness. goodness. Chloe, are you okay? Oh no, Chloe's head exploded. How did that happen? You know what the problem is. Chloe was doing her schoolwork, she was falling behind. Now that her head exploded, we need to take her to the hospital. Oh my goodness. We should have never told her to catch up on all of her work. What have we done? Well, Winifred, we didn't want her falling behind. But we didn't want her being stressed and her head exploded. 
I wasn't expecting her head to explode. Guess this is what happens when someone works too much, not to mention too hard. What the? EWW. Is that Chloe's brain? Why is it yellow? I believe she was born with a yellow brain. It's very rare though. I know that, but we need to take Chloe to the hospital. Richard, you grab the brain and I'll grab the body. Let's just hope it's not too late to save Chloe's life. She doesn't even deserve to die at all. We love and care for her. Yeah, why the heck did we force her to do her schoolwork online? We wanted her to catch up, but we didn't want her to feel stress. What are the chances of Chloe surviving? I don't know, Winifred, but it's at least a 50 stroke 50 chance that Chloe is still alive. This is very bad that Chloe's head exploded due to her working on online class. There's the hospital. Quickly, let's go. Hello, guys. Why are you guys here and what happened to Chloe? We are here because Chloe's head exploded at her working too much. We would like to make an appointment for her. Fortunately for you, you're right on time. We just got a patient all better and let him go home. You may bring Chloe and her brain to Dr. Brooklyn T. Guy. Okay, thank you so much. One surgery later. Oh, oh my goodness, what happened to me? <gasps> Dad, go! Oh, thank goodness you're okay! Listen, Chloe, your head exploded because you were working so hard on your online classes. We are very sorry for forcing you to do that. It's okay, do I still have to catch up? Actually, Chloe, Eric called, and he said that he made a mistake. Turns out, Jeffy was the one falling behind, not you. Oh, and by the way, Nelson, uh, please, Chloe, we love you! should have ignored her instead of using that harmful prank. Yeah, I'm...